do is make sure you're, you're lying on your side and stacked. We use that term to make sure that one shoulder is stacked completely on the other shoulder. Use some neck support here and don't use too much because as she gets into the end of this stretch she's going to roll to her back. But use some type of neck support here because I don't want any of these muscles on right here. First part of the stretch, bring this thigh not just to 90 degrees but go ahead and come on past 90 degrees a little bit. That's how we protect the low back. The bottom hand goes on the top leg. Top leg, bottom hand. That's going to need to have a good firm grip. Sometimes we can grip the underside. So if you want to shoot this hand under, you can also grip that way if that's more comfortable. There's no right or wrong way. Just keep sure, make sure that thigh is about 100 degrees and that you've got a good purchase on the thigh. You're going to need that later. So grab back on top just so they can see your hand. Now, this leg is already in a stretch position. Let's get in a comfortable position and see if we can get the hand. I see a lot of this going on. I would almost prefer you grab a towel around your ankle, but if you can choke up really good, go ahead and get that tension on. Now, a lot of people are already starting to roll backward here, and that's the biggest mistake I see in this stretch. Let's get this thigh in extension first. This foot does not have to come onto the ground yet, but I do need this in line with the spine. So we're getting hip flexor, quad, maybe even some IT band here. We're getting some piriformis. We're getting some glute right here. Now, the very first thing I do is say, take a breath and try to roll the shoulders. And she's already got some pretty good mobility there. You're probably feeling more in the lower body than the upper body. Some people will only move this far. But what I want you to do is watch how they're breathing. Keep breathing right here. Slow it down and let your exhale take twice as long as your inhale, okay? Inhale through the nose, exhale really long and deliberate. Now, we get to a point where you can't go any further. You're hitting that barrier. I would encourage you back off about an inch to a good breathing point, and now you're gonna challenge your leg position. And the way you do that is you're gonna take this leg and try to kick it away, try to break that grip. You're going to take this knee and try to kick it away, try to break that grip. All this tension right here, abs, pelvic floor, glutes, quads, stop, relax, and open up. And most people pick up a few inches. Changing tension down here allows better movement up here. So, as you can see, we've got the intercostals, we've got the abs, we've got the low back. Neck is supposed to be in a very comfortable position, really well aligned, and she should not be fighting this position at all. If she wants to turn a little further, make another challenge, and relax the challenge, and it's basically contract, relax, or hold, relax, depending on the way you cycle this. The most important thing that I want Melissa to learn here is I want you to immediately go to the other side and say, am I symmetrical or am I asymmetrical, because we're stretching a pattern. You're going to feel it somewhere different on each side, and you may feel it somewhere different than someone else stretching. There's no right or wrong answer here. If your greatest tension is in this hip, that's where you might feel this. So we're not doing this for one particular part. We're doing this to see if you can get in this position, and you can still breathe, and you're symmetrical on both sides. Real quick, let's do the pretzel two.